Communities structure life with things to do, places to go, and people to see. But what structures our communities? What drives visible change? And how can we participate more directly in that change? Housing and the domestic are themes within artworks that begin to offer responses to these very questions. My name is Nabiha Khan Giordano. I'm a director at Weinberg Newton Gallery and curator of the exhibition Key Change. At Weinberg Newton Gallery, we partner with an inspiring nonprofit and lean on their work as a starting point for an exhibition. In Key Change, we have partnered with Mercy Housing Lakefront, who have done extremely important work in affordable housing for the past 35 years. The organization creates stable, vibrant, and healthy communities by developing, financing, and operating affordable, program-enriched housing for families, seniors, and people with special needs who lack the economic resources to access quality, safe housing opportunities. Key Change features work from Gabrielle Garland, Tanika Lewis Johnson, Meme Jemsai, Riff Studio, and Southside Home Movie Project. Key Change presents housing as an emotional, speculative, and even legal experience through artworks that address historical housing practices and propose alternative ways of living in Chicago. The exhibition offers a range of interpretations by contemporary artists, activists, and architects. With photographic and painted depictions of homes, the exhibition initially positions housing as a place that can be abandoned, sometimes unjustly stolen. Architectural collage demonstrates housing as a temporal exercise in which influences and precedents engage in dialogue with future spatial thinking. Silent home movies and idiosyncratic sculpture subsequently suggest that housing is a productive place in which intimate moments, lifelong memories, and nurturing meals are made and shared. Tanika Lewis Johnson's street-level photographs are one element in an ensemble that combined to tell stories of abusive housing practices which pervaded neighborhoods in Chicago's South and West Sides, specifically targeting residents in historically Black communities. He did a good sales pitch, I remember that. But I, uh, I like the house. But Through archival sound, sculptural landmarkers, and data-driven maps, in addition to large-scale images, inequity for sale renews a demand to repair the purchases of unjust land sale contracts by presenting individual contract addresses and personal testimonies from those affected by this criminal practice. Gabrielle Garland's paintings of boarded up and abandoned homes present visions of structures that appear to be both still and animated. Warped forms distort home exterior into yard, into street, into sky, all the while aestheticizing structures that are so ubiquitous in Chicago, they tend to be overlooked. Meme Jemsai's artistic practice encompasses both traditional media and relational artworks. For key change, visitors first experience the familiar smell of baking. Bread machines continuously produce loaves for consumption. Their vibrating bodies, in close proximity to one another, create a constant hum that brings the machines closer to and further away almost always touching, almost always in contact. Mm -hmm. 
Southside Home Movie Project screens a compilation of silent film footage depicting moments of domestic life and celebration, offering insight into the lives of others from everyday activities to major life events. The films establish an emotional ground on which to consider home life and all that is shared and transpires over the course of a lifetime. Rift Studios Architecture for Reparations is an ongoing request for proposals that solicits responses to reimagine vacant land in Chicago's Bronzeville neighborhood. For key change, the request and proposals received to date are presented as a book that visitors can view while taking inspiration and planning their own response. Isabel Strauss of Rift Studio presents her own response to the RFP in the form of digital collages. Drawing heavily on artistic and cultural influences, Strauss collages pre-existing imagery on top of architectural renderings to redefine spatial relationships of bodies and objects, histories and futures. These illustrations are designed by youth artists in the Weinberg Newton Gallery Teen Collective and depict three Mercy Housing Lakefront residences located in the vibrant communities of Austin, North Lawndale, and Roseland. Weinberg Newton Gallery Teen Collective is a six month visual arts program that brings together Mercy Housing Lakefront youth from across the city to engage with art and social justice. The work in Key Change is both representational in the sense of depiction, but also representational in a political sense. There is an energy to revisit and reclaim historical housing narratives in Chicago.